Meantime, locally, we're beginning to hear from people who were on flights coming back from Israel. Eyewitness News reporter Jaisha Patel is live at LAX with reaction. Jaisha. Philip, a flight from Tel Aviv landed here at LAX around 630 this morning and passengers coming off that flight say they have mixed emotions. Some say they're happy they're in Los Angeles and they're safe, while others say they didn't want to leave because their loved ones are still missing. I just had the worst experience of my life. <laughs> I was in quarantine and I heard the rockets go off and my whole life changed. Family members greeted loved ones with tears in their eyes as a sense of relief came over them. Shaken passengers arrived just 48 hours after Hamas fighters stormed into Israeli towns in a surprise attack during a Jewish holiday. This is a second Holocaust, definitely. There is Kids, women, 85 years old, this is something unbelievable. Yeah. I'm so sad. I'm telling you, my heart is broken. Passengers described the terrifying moments they realized Israel was under attack. Yeah, we woke up to alarms, um, got out of bed, started panicking. Um, I immediately told him what is going on, and he said, it's a, it's a drill. And I said, it's a Saturday. There are no drills on Saturday. And within a couple minutes, you heard booms, booms, booms. And then the horror story unfolded. Now the death toll is rising and the country is left in a state of violence. All my friends that were in, on the military in the IDF in Israel, we were with them the night before. That morning they were gone. They were already taken in. We saw families walking their dads out to war. It was a moving experience and horrific at the same time. Passengers on LL Flight 5 say they're thankful their flight took off and they're now safe, but their hearts are broken thinking about the people left behind. Uh, I kept telling everyone, like, once it's been like an hour on this flight and I'm out of Israeli airspace, I will be able to breathe again, but like not until then. And I actually, like, we landed and I started crying walking through customs. Like, I've never been so happy to be in America. The priority for many friends and family members has been trying to contact loved ones in the Middle East. One woman says her friends were at a music festival when the attack happened and she she hasn't heard from them since. The last time they saw her was uh, at the parking lot of the place, and everyone was kind of just worrying, you know, trying to leave. So nobody really knows. People ran in different directions. Nobody really knows where everyone is anymore. Passengers say they have family members and friends arriving later this week, and they're hoping their flights still take off and they can join them here in SoCal. We're seeing a lot of local support for the Jewish and Israeli community. We know that a rally will be held today at 5 at the Beverly Gardens Park to show support for Israel. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.